Good morning, babes. It's Curly it's Victoria back with yet another video. If you guys are new here, hi, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, thanks for coming back. So, listen, babes, I have won my little workout set. Um, it is literally a two piece and Okay, so, hey babes, I probably am echoing, I think I am, but I wanted to get on here real quick just to fill you guys in with what's going to be going on. So I first of all just came into the gym, I did three miles, so I did 20 minutes on the treadmill, and then I did, uh, how much did I do on that? I did two miles on the elliptical, which all in all took me 10 minutes to do. 10 minutes to do two miles um, on the elliptical, and... 20 minutes for the treadmill. Now, obviously on the treadmill, I walked most of the time. I probably ran a duration of three to five minutes and 15 minutes of walking. So obviously I'm able to capture a mile in way less time than that, but because it was walking and running, essentially doing a HIIT workout, it took me a bit longer. However, you guys know I don't like doing long workouts. 30 to 45 minutes for me is perfect. I don't like being in the gym for a couple hours at a time. So I love the fact that I'm able to get in the gym by myself. Um, once I get into the gym, I go straight into my workouts. Um, they do have an arm machine and they have weights back here. Today I just did treadmill and elliptical and then they also have, you know, like these other equipments for leg press and things like that. And then in the back there's like a yoga mat and there's weights and stuff like that that I can also get into. Now because I have my own bike, like stationary bike, my own weights, I have my own um, yoga mats and yoga balls and things like that. Certain equipment that I already have in my house, that's the equipment that I'm not so pressed to get on when I get in here. But things like the actual elliptical machine, the treadmill, the you know arm machines and things like that that I don't have, those are the uh, equipments that I'm gonna be focused on. Now right now I'm fortunate to be able to get in the gym these last two days where there was absolutely nobody but me. But that's not always gonna be the case. There may be other people who are working out in here and I wanna be able to come in and know exactly which equipment I need to get on and go forward. So, with that being said, I'm also going to be um, working toward doing my, um, um, I'm gonna be working toward some business endeavors. So, um, I'm gonna to have to fill you guys in on that as well. So, stay tuned. Okay, babe, so I told you guys that I was going to be doing whatever, absolutely whatever it took to um, boss up and do what I needed to do, right? My leg is itching so bad. Yesterday, I got bit up when I went to go take bricks for a walk, and now I'm regretting. I'm going to be getting bit up this summer, and I don't like it. Anyway, so long story short here, y'all, your girl is going to be showing you guys how to boss up as a entrepreneur and a corporate body body with the body so what's happening is i will be returning to um work with a company that i absolutely love um i'm not going to reveal the name of the company um for you know my sake and i'm also not going to talk about the functioning of the job as far as what it is and what I'm doing but I will speak on topics of management and business management um, I will talk on the um, topic of how to work with there's a book that I'm reading on leadership there's a book on how to work with difficult people is what it's entitled as well and basically these books are about leadership they're about also being able to work in atmospheres with people who are similar or like-minded like you or who can be complete opposite so as an individual you guys know that personal development and growth and just becoming a better version of myself is innate however when you work in any job or any career or any whatever my belly's growling so ignore it but when you work in any of those atmospheres you're not it's not always going to be likely that you will get along with everybody um 
and there's n it's not always likely that everyone will have the same mindset as you so prior to me to well no i've always had these books that i'm telling you about i've just picked them up recently to read because as you guys know i'm also simultaneously trying to build my brand as a broker so i'm a broker associate right now and i carry the basically the same license as a real estate broker it's the same thing um it's just i'm choosing to be underneath another broker that's why i'm considered a broker associate but i'm going to be branching out and doing my own thing i'm already licensed for it i'm already got the credentials i got everything that i basically need so while i'm simultaneously building this business i'll be jumping back as a corporate baddie um because you guys know my degree fields are I have a minor in sociology, a bachelor's in criminal justice, I have a master's in business, a master's in law, I, ha I am in a doctoral program um, with a concentration, well my program is strategic leadership with the concentration of entrepreneurship, so entrepreneurial focus, and I am a notary and I'm also a um, broker, got a broker license. So. I have a lot of things which I consider assets. People may say, oh, all of that education, it's not needed. All of that education, it's just a piece of paper. All that education does nothing for you. Well, you guys have heard me talk about it in many videos. My reasoning for furthering my education is not to think that, oh, it's gonna land me the job that's gonna pay me or the career field that's going to pay me everything that I need. Um, I never, that was not my intent for education. I was breaking family cycles and um, uh, willing to not become a product of the environment that I was said to have become or that I would have been just as an adult that I didn't succumb to. And um, also, you know, just being able to do it because as I told you guys many times before, our ancestors, black people in general, we were just, we were just not given the, and even in today we see that we're not given the same opportunities however then it's like college education furthering your education being taught things like you know being able to further yourself and how to do things because that wasn't things that was given to us then those are definitely things that i work toward uh, my sister's calling me now let me answer this call and i'll talk to her about it. okay y'all so my sister ended up calling so i jetted out but i just wanted to get back on here i made myself some coffee as well it's him blowing his breath whenever i got things going on anyway i made myself some coffee i'm about to turn on i listened to like two to three different motivation um motivational speakers this morning i did it on the way to the gym because i walked to the gym since i'm going to the one in my condo so i don't necessarily have to drive um so i walked to the gym which is more workout because i have to walk there and back and then I went into the gym to do my workout, like I stated. And going there, being in there, and leaving there, I listened to nothing but motivation. Wasn't on the phone or anything like that during that entire time. So I really was able to set my mood, get myself back in a good space. I did elliptical, I did treadmill, as I've mentioned to you guys already. And I think that those were really good fat calorie blasters but they were also very very good workouts to do to get myself back in the groove i do want to start working on arms and back and stuff like that so as i'm sh shredding fat and i'm slimming down in certain areas that i'm carrying more weight in i'm gonna um be focused on that which honestly when you're really trying to get that coke bottle um coca-cola shape that coke bottle shape I believe that arms are definitely key because if you do arms and you create those back muscles and those arms, it will actually start to kind of give you that shape naturally. And if you're working on your glutes and your belly, it's just going to naturally start to form that way if you're working those upper arms. So I'm going to do that machine that pulls down like this and do like heavy resistance and up the weights and stuff like that over time so that your girl back muscles can start forming or whatever yeah because growing up and stuff like that and even throughout college i was always like how you see my body now i've always had like the bigger chest my butt my belly but my butt wasn't always like a big butt it was more so just a butt and even now it's not like a huge butt i think sometimes by outfits and stuff like that you could be like oh wow but really i would run a lot and it wasn't until like years later that I actually feel like I started doing lifting more and squats and things like that 
that I was starting to form a better looking glute instead of just like a flat bottom. Now obviously some clothing like pants and stuff like that can give you a different look than what it really is, but hey, it is what it is. So that's that. This coffee is so good. It's 12 o'clock on the dot now. Um, and I'm going to be working on some stuff. But anyway, before I had left the camera, I was talking about now incorporating this company back into my life, back into my routine. I think that the positive pro of it, and I know that I was talking about being able to work with different personality types and things like that. That's all a part of leadership. And that's all a part of just literally being able to do that so for me as a developing leader i mean i've always been a leader but i don't think when you're leading and you're an individual in general you just never learn everything so i keep myself informed with that type of information and before i even thought about going back to um at this job back into my life i was already reading these books and just putting myself back in a better headspace and a better um like space altogether so it's definitely going to work itself out for the better um so since i know that that's about to i'll probably get added back to the schedule this week or next week i'm gonna go ahead and take the time to get my house back in order um put up some clothing sweep and mop because you know mr bricks had a field day this week remember i told y'all and i did clean up but i feel like i need to sweep and mop a little bit heavier because i feel like he literally he had the time of his life I have to write a to-do list out. Um, I do know I need new blinds to go in my window because he chewed them up. But there's a good amount of things that I need to go ahead and do. So I'm going to write out all of the things that I, I need to do. Um, get it done. Um, and just start living out my goals and things like that. So I got to stop scratching my leg. Because it's a bite mark right there. And I know I felt it. Mosquito, whatever it was, bit me straight through my leg yesterday. And I was like, bruh but anyway i'm gonna be um incorporating that back into my life and i think that that can be a positive thing to set me back on my routine obviously it's going to be a means to funnel my own investment for what it is that i'm trying to do to aid me in doing my business and growing excuse me growing my business and things like that so i'm excited about that um and yeah so that's pretty much the news that I wanted to tell you is I'm going to be showing you guys how. So I think this would be perfect um, when Octavine asked about how to um, get investment properties without being in real estate. Well, me now picking back up this uh, more corporate job and um, even though I'll be dealing with management, which is perfect because I wanted to get back into something like that to deal with management, knowing that I want to open up my own brokerage at some point and managing people, business management in general is just a great thing. So anytime you have the opportunity to lead, to manage and to train and to do any of those types of things, it is definitely going to assist you in what it is that you're trying to accomplish. So I have big goals. I told myself, you know, if you could just stay focused and dedicate six months to a year, you literally can find yourself in such a better place and space than you could ever imagine so that's what i'm doing when i said i was going hard i was going hard i'm doing whatever it takes to be successful and making sure that i'm doing whatever it takes in an integrity with integrity and in the most honest way um to achieve the goals and the things that i desire so that's what your girl's going to be doing um so make sure you guys are tapped in make sure you guys subscribe I just wanted to let you guys know I am going my camera battery is flashing but I wanted you guys to know I'm gonna charge the battery right now but one thing that I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be calling companies uh, so if I owed a balance on this or I have an updo pay, upcoming payment or something was a couple dollars behind or whatever the situation is I'm gonna be writing those things out I'm not gonna write the names of the things because I don't want my specifics out there but I'm gonna be writing them out with the amount to show you guys how I'm about to actually not get in a job and be um, wasting money. Obviously treat yourself because you are working, but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna end up taking what I'm making, portions of what I'm making to put toward saving, portions of what I'm making to put toward these individual items, and I'm gonna itemize. Okay y'all, so I'm retwisting my hair now, um, but I'm not retwisting, like I said, I'm not retwisting heavy. 
I am gonna be trying to add some hair to some locks that I feel like, you know, I need to strengthen. But like I said, I'm not really trying to do the most. I just wanna do some braids. And then in a few days, I'm gonna take the braids out. Okay, y'all, so this ends the vlog. Um, I had to cut it out. Uh, a good amount like almost 45 minutes worth of my vlog just because I didn't want to uh, my storage kept filling up and I didn't want to go through and edit all that so here's a mini vlog hope you guys enjoyed make sure you like comment share subscribe